reporter Thelma Slisher with the JCCF News. I'm investigating the rumor that the Johnson County Community Foundation is celebrating the 30th anniversary. So I am here today in Greenwood, Indiana at The Social. I'm with Andrea Sutherland, the executive director. So Andrea, hi. hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. Can you just tell us how has the social been part of the 30 years with Johnson County Community Sure. Foundation? The social agreement has been involved with the Community Foundation in a multitude of ways. Okay. One of those ways is we have a rock steady boxing program that serves over 150 folks that are battling Parkinson's and it helps them fight back against the disease. So, that's, so that's this what we is some of the Yep. So what does it do? They will box, they do calisthenics, they do stretches, they do yoga, balance exercises, but we received money to help buy us some equipment for those folks so they could have the best class possible for them. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So do they it's just give it a music try. or anything? Yeah, yeah. give it a try. Give it a question. There you go. <laughs> All right. It feels good. It does. It really does. I need one for my office. <laughs> That's right. We'll have to work on that. So what else have they done? So we also have a food pantry that serves over 800 folks a month in our area. Um, so we are open three times a week during that. We serve all ages um, and just really work on diminishing hunger in our community. And we have always had the support of the Community Foundation to help us do that, whether it's by produce to help supplement meats, dry goods, non-perishable, those go, that money comes in and it goes straight back out into the community to help feed those that need it. Now I saw a truck out when yeah. we walked in, so what's that all about? That is a newer addition that we got last year that helps us go and pick up our loads from Gleaners, Second Helpings, um, Kroger donates some food, but we're also going to be using that truck in the future to do a delivery program to those seniors that need it most and are homebound, especially during COVID-19. Wow! Is there anything else that has happened? Yeah, I mean, over the years, we've been partners with the Community Foundation for a long time. But another thing that comes to mind is we um, have an older building. We got renovated, but the Community Foundation helped us build this beautiful ramp out in the front. We have seniors that come in. There were steps that were crumbling, breaking, and just weren't safe. Just, yeah, dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. So we were able to put in a beautiful new ramp. Um, so we know that they can get from the parking lot into the building as safe as possible. And they also helped us install automatic door openers, which was oh. a huge deal for us. So that's great. That was a huge blessing for us. Well, it sounds like then there's been a great partnership there has. here yes. with the foundation and the social. Always. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Thank you so much. And congratulations on 30 years. All right. Well, we're going to send you back to the studio, and I'm going to sit here. Go for it, girl. And do a little more hooks here. Hey, by the way, staff, you better watch out. The Community Foundation would not be able to give back to the community if it wasn't for Lily Endowment, who started a community foundation in every county in Indiana. But most important, it's you, the donor. By giving, you have made this all possible for us. So here is to 30 more years.